I wish someone had gone with me yesterday because when I looked at my footage last night, I did notice that I had a big old booger on my nose that no one told me to wipe away, which by the way, does, just having someone doesn't mean that they'll tell me to wipe that away. I, a lot of these videos you'll notice, even the recent Grand Teton, I had something in my teeth the entire day and Chase never told me to take it out until pretty much the end of the day. Nick's here again. Uh, he managed to survive yesterday, didn't get mauled by a bear. He's gonna join me on this, uh, uh, the beginning of today's adventure and today we'll be climbing Nye Block and White Mountain. We'll be doing the traverse and scramble up uh, here just beyond the resort. We made our breakfast in the parking lot, had to get here early just so that we could get a spot in the parking lot. Nick's actually great because he looks like a vagrant and um, probably scares away anyone who would come over and question us while we're cooking here in the parking lot. But we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go and I'm suspecting that we're gonna have a great day. got Nick redlined <laughs> on this big switchback. It's possible Nick is regretting <laughs> his decision to follow me up to the lake. But I'm actually glad that Nick came along for this first part because filming myself run through the trees is both boring and actually a ton of work. I've known Nick for a long time. 10 years ago, we went for a hike and I walked up maybe a hill that was 300 yards. No snow. A little bit of snow. <laughs> and Nick almost died. I thought he was going to die. And I shamed him with the question, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and since then, he's been running, I just bought a bike and here he is. I think that I, I might have to, for the sake of time, ditch him here soon <laughs> enough, but this is basically a success story I'm telling <laughs> right now. Nick and I have parted ways. The pace is picked back up. He thought he could make it to the devil's thumb, but opted out for the beehive lookout instead. Today should be about 10 miles with 5,000 feet of climbing. Another, not so much a run, but a leg crushing hike because you're doing 1,000 feet a mile, which is no joke. But the views are definitely a motivation. of Devil's Thumb. A little bonus peak I wasn't expecting on summiting, but Nick said he wanted to and then he bailed. And now I am Nickless. And what I'm going to do is, I've been told there's a trail that goes up the backside. I have to drop back down into this area, this gravelly area right here. And then I'm gonna summit this peak and then cross that ridge and summit that peak. So I added an extra 800 feet, I don't know how many, but I'm gonna have to lose it, which is always a shame. Supposedly, this is an alternative way down, so I don't have to backtrack. Looks a little rough, but there are tracks and maybe a faint trail, which could just lead to a bunch of corpses just over that crest, but looks like it might go. Oh, 
rock. Don't worry. I made sure no one was down there before I started that rock avalanche. Oh, nice. Still, this trail is much better than the alternative. I love loose rock when it's really small. Cut across this basin just to the uh, west of Devil's Thumb up to a very primitive trail. Everything goes faster with even the faintest trail. So glad to be on, on one once again. I'm in this upper rock filled basin and I'm looking at a very loose and steep two or 3,000 feet. I've forgotten how difficult it is to film yourself. It's not fun and requires stopping, setting up, having cameras fall over. I'm about to go through this little rocky shelf that <laughs> looks loose and jumbly. I'm on the ridge up to Nye Block. And just talk to someone who's never gone across, but when I come back down, I have to cross this ridge and go up that peak and go up that ridge to white. And then I have to descend to the saddle between those two points and go down to the main trail around the lake. I'm on my first summit, Nye Block, not including Devil's Thumb, although that was kind of a summit. You can see it down there. I can also see Mount Temple, which I climbed yesterday, looking majestic as it pokes into the clouds. That scramble wasn't bad at all. I think nine out of 10 people would give it two thumbs up. Looking up at those cliffs, it looks like there is no way to go up this, but there's a well-marked well trail with lots of cairns and a pretty worn path. So all in all, if you're trying to get away from the crowds, I would try Mount Nyblock. I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna get on my way and do this traverse. Kind of nervous about climbing up the ridge to white, but I've done enough ridge scrambles to know Things always look worse from a distance. And when you kind of get into the mix, the path reveals itself. Taking the last very cautious steps to the summit of white. But again, I felt like the trail was pretty well marked and that 
scramble wasn't that bad, other than the fact that it's safe to assume every rock you grab onto is going to become dislodged from the mountain. Nye block is over there and did the ridge traverse, which was pleasant, well marked, but incredibly loose. Some of the loosest rock I've scrambled. Luckily, I'm very familiar with this chossy garbage that I'm hiking through because at home, this is what the mountains are made of. Broken up flaky crap. I guess I did three peaks today. I did the devil's thumb. I'm gonna give myself that. And then I did nye block and now white. And Mount White, I think is the coolest of all three because it puts you in the middle of some dramatic landscape. Now I have to walk off this ridge to the south, southeast, and then go down something I haven't even put my eyes on. So what I'm gonna do is go over there, take a peek at the uh, bushwhack down to the main trail that comes up from the lodge and then make a decision. I, could, I feel like I could easily go back this way, but I'm trying to do a loop. I'm looking at the descent that comes off the south side of white, and I'm beginning to think it might just be a scree for all. And yes, I thought about that joke like five minutes ago, and I've been waiting to use it. There is a something of a trail right here, but I don't really see anything going down through that. I'm not worried, I could definitely get through there. That's for sure. been resisting the urge to just drop straight downhill. The trail on all trails kind of winds at a 45 down through the slope towards the tea house. It's so, so tempting just to go straight down this. But I'm assuming, I'd like to believe there's a reason they do this. Probably like some kind of brutal bushwhack if you cut down anywhere but above the tea house. I really had to believe that it came down from all the way up there. The all trails map was pretty good, but I think I'm gonna go rogue and just go straight down this little last 800 feet down the chute. I think I can see the trail. I'm very happy with my choice of routes. I'm gonna get down to the trail and I'm encouraged by the fact that I just saw someone giving like an eight-year-old a piggyback ride, which probably means I'm close to the car. But I'm gonna get on this trail and run back to my cooler full of soda. Oh. 